studying Japanese society and culture at the School of African and Asian Studies, SOAS, offered a significant opportunity to immerse myself in reading subjects pertaining to Japanese philosophy and the concept of Ma. In broader terms, Ma, when translated to English language, is understood as a gap, or a pause, or an interval. When thinking about Ma in relation to Hepworth's works, I was particularly drawn to pierced hemisphere because I can clearly see a physical representation of Ma within the sculpture. This quite special, unique space that is surrounded by form, although empty, holds importance for thought. Hepworth's single form is a manifestation and message of peace and also of goodwill. I was especially attracted to single form for this reason. In behind the face of a rock throwing stones, the dance artists included perform sections of choreography holding semaphore flags, created by visual artist Graham Patterson. Together we learned and embedded semaphore alphabet into the choreography to communicate the message, human, being, peace. I began studying British Sign Language over eight years ago. I now work as a communicator to support members of the deaf community in the arts. As a result, my learning and knowledge of sign language has heightened an awareness of body language and non-verbal communication. The gateways positioned in the choreography represent toy gates. They are offered as a metaphor or a physical indicator. When one passes through the gateway, it is imagined that one world is left behind and a step forward is taken into a spiritual realm. I'm aware of Hepworth's considerations and understanding of materiality. Moreover, relationships between the human body and the external world. It has been a joy to be present with Seth Sarias collaborating artists at the Hepworth, extending and advancing interdisciplinary discourse, exchange and ideas. <laughs>